Let's see, what should we do here? Uh, again, you can put the portal... Well, actually no, you can't. Not here. Or maybe it only works when you... No, no, this one's different. This one, you can get it wrong and it doesn't gravitate. That's interesting. So sometimes it doesn't and sometimes it doesn't. I uh, don't remember... Oh, I remember. Okay, something really strange happened to the recording there, but we're back in business. We're back here and I was doing this. Um... Let's see, I believe we need to do that. And out. Right. Hmm. Not much to say about this thing, really. Let's see, there's gel. See, that's interesting. Notice how that part of the tube is clear. And obviously that draws your attention to it, the fact that you can see it moving and dropping things down, whereas if it wasn't clear, you might not you know, notice that. Imagine if you're just looking upwards. In fact, you would too, because, you know, the as you walk in... Yeah, anyway, so, you know, just to make sure that you see the, the gel dropping down. Now, where are we going and what are we doing? We're not going there. That's actually, we've been there before. We are... It doesn't tell you which way the exit is. Interesting, a lack of clues. Is it them making this a little bit more complicated, or is it... I guess it is, like they're not giving you as many clues as before. What does that say? Accidents hurt. You will be hurt. And the guy's lost his hand. Co-workers don't endanger others. The company... Replacements are costly. Science investigates impede progress. <laughs> Investigations impede progress. Safety first. Oh wow. Let's see. We are meant to. I'll just. I'll just solve this. I see gel flow. I'm just. Yeah. That's not sure how you're meant to know what to do here. In actual fact... Oh, I know. I know. Let's see, we can do that. And... That. And... That. And that's the solution. That's the simplest solution. And I guess... If you really don't know what you're doing, then you would just, you know, start putting blue gel everywhere. And it doesn't actually hurt to do that. Oh, I used the wrong portal, didn't I? Yeah, it doesn't hurt to put blue gel everywhere. You just start covering the whole place. Until eventually you cover enough of these surfaces that you just manage to f figure out what to do. So again, it, it's kind of a... It's like easy mode, like there's no real way to fail it. And the more you experiment, the closer you get to finding it. I mean, imagine if you just start putting blue gel everywhere. You, like you start there, okay, nothing happens. You put portals there, nothing happens. You put portals there, and then it puts the blue, blue gel there. And then, and then it should be obvious afterwards what you meant to do. So. Again, like it, you feel kind of clever for solving the problem, but the fact is, even if you just mess around and don't know what you're doing, you're 
protection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use the work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Snap the little pink bras. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's appropriate for the time period, I guess, that sort of thing. Yeah, anyway, so, I mean, you feel kind of good about solving the puzzles, but the fact is that if you just randomly do stuff, you can't go wrong. And that's puzzle design, that's good puzzle design. Like, you know, you never find yourself in a situation where, you know, you, you break the puzzle or you put yourself in a situation where you can't solve it anymore. this part. Maybe I should have done that a bit more slowly. If I can... Oh, I can't put it down because it just bounce away. Hey, hey, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. No, 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 come back. What are you... Okay, good. I'll put this down. So, let's try to remember what we saw when we came through here came in the door, we saw blue gel and clear water, we saw the cube in the glass container, and portals can be placed up there, can be placed on the floor, there's a switch that leads to the elevator, so obviously we need to go up there. Why is that important? Is there something... No, there's nothing here. Okay, so why is that important? I'm not sure. Yeah, why is that important? Anyway, what was I saying? So you saw the gels, you saw the cube. There's no clue that you should put the gel onto the box. Like, there's no suggestions at all. Interesting. Like, they keep... Like, in this part of the game, like, they, they really... I mean, that's a completely new mechanic. The fact that you can put a... And you can put the gel onto the box is new, and the fact that the box would then bounce around and break glass, that's completely new. So I'm not entirely sure how they made that sort of puzzle solving work out for people. Uh, let me just drop some stuff there. And oops, wrong way. Anyway, that works. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't get you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff out the front door. Parking lot, car, goodbye. Yeah, so, if you haven't figured out yet, Cave Johnson doesn't care about safety. But, uh, yeah, so, like, that bouncing box mechanism, that was completely new. But again, I'll just assume that it works because they left it like that and didn't put a clue in, so by this stage, people will figure that out, I guess. Again, a new mechanic, the bouncing box. I don't know how much we're gonna use that later on, though. And they give you, like, this area that you, you can, you know, look back and see how you've done as well. That's interesting. Like, this is... I mean, you gotta assume that things are on purpose. The fact that there's the glass there and not a solid wall. Maybe it's, you know, good that people can look back at it. 
It isn't a new thing, I guess, the bouncing box. And so maybe people want to look back and then just see how clever they've been <laughs> in managing to solve that. Okay, so it, I don't know, the recording is not going well today, guys. But um, I was saying... What was I saying? Like, the fact that things happen so smoothly is significant. Like, you often you only notice things when they go wrong. Or, you know, the puzzles are really bad and then, then, then you really notice it, but... You know, the fact that the puzzles are going so smoothly, you know, the idea that a lot of these puzzles you can't fail, or, you know, if you do something wrong, there's no negative consequences. The only consequence is that you can't get to the exit yet if you don't do it right. And then when you do it right, can you get to the exit? So, you know, it never gets frustrating. You know, you never have to repeat anything. You never have to... You know, you never get punished for for not figuring things out and all that. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Carolyn is not the smartest person in the world. Alright, so this is the end of the propulsion gel. Not the propulsion gel, the... What do they call it? Repulsion gel. The repulsion gel series. And apparently, if we were a 1950s hero, this would be the exit. Thank you for your participation. Aperture Science Innovators elevated the surface. But it's not for us. We're four kilometers underground, according to that. So, Cave Johnson in his late 20s. But we don't actually get out this way. We have to keep going through after science. Let's see. Over there, you see in 1971, we are going to 1971. So, uh, about 15 odd years. Pump station beta. So there's even more spheres above us, and interestingly, we can see the another sign up there. What's here? Here we go. Pump station beta. This time it's orange. So there's the blue gel flow, and now there's also the orange gel flow. Uh, where am I going again? I the bum and um oh there okay we're going there I think or okay exit is there and I guess we're supposed to actually go up there but I can't put a portal there. Oh. Uh, wait. Um. See, even I've forgotten how to solve these puzzles. Let's see. Let's just do this and see what happens. Okay, you face plant into the glass. Oh, look. Look, I see. I see. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, let's. let's do that. And this. Oh, wait a minute, we can't reach that. Wow, this is complicated. Again, no clues. No clues as to what to do. In fact, even hardly a clue that the exit is up there. You, like, you have to really look for it to see it. So, what you're meant to do. Let me just wait a little bit. Is that. 
when was the last time we had something like that where you had to put a portal when you're mid-air? That's actually quite complicated.